Hey guys, what's up? This is a Royal Rumble, or I'm sorry, Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber preview video here. Hold on one second. Let me get some background noise going. Okay. Um, anyway, I had to. I can't really focus when it's all quiet. But um, you have, let's see, one, two, three, you have four matches on this card. And four matches that are looking to impress, basically. You have the Intercontinental Champion Kofi Kingston going up against Alberto Del Rio. The WWE Champion The Miz taking on Jerry the King Lawler. And you have the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match, which features all the comp all the opponents. And basically, if you don't know what Elimination Chamber is, let me tell you about this loads real quick here. Elimination Chamber is basically the concept of six men facing each other for the World Heavyweight Championship and the last one standing wins. Now, uh, an Elimination Chamber is basically like, when I look at Elimination Chamber, I think it's Hell in the Cellish, where it's like a curved cage and each wrestler stays in a pod to where they have to wait, I believe, like 90 seconds till a pod randomly opens and then they can come out and wrestle. Two Miles of Chain, they call it uh, the Devil's Playground, Satan's Structure, all those over gimmicky names. The ones in that match will be Dolph Ziggler, Kane, Edge, Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, and Wade Barrett uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, you also have the Raw Elimination Chamber, which in my opinion, I think will be the better Elimination Chamber match. This one has John Cena, John Morrison, R-Truth, Randy Orton, Sheamus, and CM Punk. Now. I'm going to run down the card, we're going to blow right past this, um, it's hot in here too, sorry, I keep getting distracted, I know, but, it's one thing after another, I apologize, but anyway, um, the Intercontinental Champion, Kofi Kingston, is going up against Alberto Del Rio, now, I don't know if the title's on the line, to my recollection, I don't believe it is, I haven't seen, like, no build-up for this match, maybe that's just me being odd, um, Honestly, I haven't really seen any build-up, but if you were to walk away with a winner, obviously, no-brainer, it's going to be Kofi Kingston. Title on the line or not, and here's why. Because Alberto Del Rio is going into a huge match at WrestleMania against the winner of the Elimination Chamber this weekend. Now, what is not set in stone is Kofi Kingston's WrestleMania f future. Will he defend the title, or will he possibly enter in what could be the last Money in the Bank. I don't know if they're doing Money in the Bank this year, guys. I really hope they do. I haven't really heard anything, but let's just hope they do. Um, so, yeah, without a doubt in my mind, Kofi Kingston wins. Title on the line or not, I... Well, you know what, let me back that up. If the title is on the line, I'm going to say Kofi. If the title's not on... If the title... Screw that. Let me try one more time. If the title is on the line, I expect Kofi to win. If the title is not on the line, I expect Alberto Del Rio to win. Because Alberto is not going to win the Intercontinental Championship. They're not going to give it to him this close to the pay-per-view. Sorry, I have two computers in my room and I'm looking off both. I thought it would be more efficient, but apparently it's not. It's actually more of a pain, so I think next time I'm just going to stick with using my netbook here. Um, wrestling pay-per-view, okay. So... Yeah, I don't see Alberto Del Rio really winning unless if it's a non-title match. And I know it sounds crazy, but if it's for the title, Kofi is going to win. And I'm looking that up right now. Um, staying forever here. Matches. No, according to Wikipedia, it's not for the title. And WWE.com didn't really seem to say. So, in my honest opinion, I'm going to say Alberto Del Rio is going to win this match. Um, strictly because the title's not on the line, he's going to build a lot of momentum going into Mania, and then in my Mania video, I'm going to tell you guys what I think about him versus whoever the champion is. Now, going on to the next match in the card is the WWE champion, The Miz, taking on Jerry the King Lawler. Now, when the Raw Rumble happened and Jerry the King Lawler tossed out CM Punk, I kind of knew it was going to happen that King was going to win. I, I, well, before the match even happened, rather, I knew King was going to win the Raw Rumble. Now, he's not going to win at the Elimination Chamber, as awesome as that would be. 
And it sucks for me because I'm from Cleveland and so is The Miz. So you should be rooting for The Miz and everything. And with all the things that happened in Cleveland sports this past year, you know, LeBron and the whole decision thing going to Miami with the Cavs and the Indians just sucking. Although the Cavs beat the Lakers. But anyway, I'm not here to talk sports. I'm here to talk wrestling. Now, for the WWE title, The Miz. Unless if by some... Ah, Divine Miracle, Lawler wins, which I don't see happening, to be honest. It's going to be The Miz. He's going to keep the title, he's going to keep it to Mania, then he's going to drop it. It wouldn't make sense if The Miz lost the title now, considering WrestleMania's right there. That that would just ruin him, and any kind of momentum, storyline-wise, he would have. So, for The Miz to win, I think, is a definite. I think, if you're rooting for Jerry Lawler, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Um, it, condolences, by the way, to Jerry Lawler, who just lost his mother. They dressed on Raw, and, you know, that's why I wasn't there, obviously, so who knows? Maybe they'll even do a whole emotional swing and have him win the title. You never know, but I think the, I think Lawler's at that point where he don't need the title. He never really won the WWE title, so he's not gonna worry about it, especially at his age now I think and I'm not trying to insult the guy I'm just saying that at his age he doesn't have to worry about any of that he's just he has to worry about putting over the Miz I think in this and I think behind the scenes I think he is gonna do that and I think when the camera is shining on him I think Lawler's gonna do a tremendous job putting over the Miz and I think the Miz is gonna go and WrestleMania's champion now the Smackdown got something in my eye, it just won't go away. SmackDown Elimination Chamber match. Like I said, I'm looking more forward towards the Raw Elimination Chamber, but with the six guys you have, you got Dolph Ziggler, Kane, Edge, Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, and Wade Barrett. Now, I'm going to say Edge. I don't want to. I mean, Edge is a phenomenal wrestler, phenomenal champion, gets over with the crowd, heel or face, it doesn't matter. Edge has always been the one, ever since he debuted in 97, 98, whenever that was, he, in my opinion, did one hell of a job. He got to the top, it took him a little bit, but he finally got there, and out of all three major tag teams from the late 90s, I'm talking about Edge Christian, Dudley's, and the Hardys, Edge was the first to rise. Matt Hardy had the hugest opportunity in the world in 2005 when he came back with the whole Edge and Lita love triangle, but he blew it. And how? I don't understand that, but I'm not here to talk about Matt Hardy, he's in TNA, but what I'm saying is, out of all three teams, you saw Jeff Hardy become World and WWE Champion, Matt Hardy became ECW Champion as well as Christian, Edge got the belt, the Dudleys didn't win any major title, and now they're working TNA, so, but out of all those three teams, Edge, in my opinion, broke the quote-unquote glass ceiling, and I can't be happier for the guy. That said, he's been champion, he's been champion for a while, I don't want to see him champion anymore. He, he'll he probably keep the belt, because what sense would that make? They'd have to almost redo a whole storyline within four SmackDowns, you know, and three or four SmackDowns, however much, until Mania, and they're, they're not going to want to do that. So I think Edge is going to retain the title. Um, I see it coming down to Edge and maybe Wade Barrett. I don't know. Like I said, I think, in my honest opinion, I don't see this match being that huge. I really don't. I can't. I can sit here all night, but I can't think of one reason as to why this would be the one on the card that steals the show. I, I can't see that. I'm looking at these guys, phenomenal wrestlers, all the way from Dolph Ziggler to Kane, Edge, Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, and Wade Barrett all phenomenal athletes, but I just don't see this being a huge match. I, I don't know why. It's a gut feeling, but when I hear, oh, excuse me, when I hear talk about gut feelings, we're here to talk about predictions. So, prediction wise, Edge, the radar superstar, he's going to Mania as champion. That's my opinion. Now, going down the line again, the other Elimination Chamber match is John Cena, Sheamus, Randy Orton, CM Punk, John Morrison, and R Truth for the title. Now, and, or not for the title, rather, the winner receives a title match at WrestleMania against whoever wins against The Miz and Lawler, which, is, in my opinion, is going to be The Miz. So, of all those guys, it would make sense for John Cena, and I don't want it to be Cena, especially how when The Rock came back, he basically called out The Miz and Cena. 
So who knows, maybe somehow he's setting up a match between Cena and The Miz at WrestleMania, I couldn't tell you, but I would love to see a Cena-Rock match just like anyone else. It could still happen. I mean, in my opinion, I think The Rock has just one good match left. Now, I think... It, it, okay, how can I put this? It would be, I think in my personal opinion, a more exciting match to see The Miz and Morrison headline WrestleMania. That I don't think that's going to happen. But how awesome would that be? It'd be deja vu. I mean, two guys who at one point were the tag team champions. Morrison went on to be ECW champion. The Miz is now the WWE champion. So they're neck and neck, in my opinion. Obviously, The Miz had a bigger platform to win the title. But hey, you know, <laughs> don't ever underestimate John Morrison. He he's flashy in the ring, but that's because he can be flashy in the ring. You know, he's he doesn't do it as a gimmick. And I, th I would love to see Morrison versus The Miz Mania, but that's not going to happen. So, I think for this match alone, I think I'm going to have to go with John Cena versus The Miz and at WrestleMania. And when the chamber match is John Cena. Uh, now, I actually just did a Superstars prediction. Like, all the matches happened, and I only got one match right. But then the week before, I got all the matches but one. <laughs> so, it, it varies prediction-wise. I mean... You could go in there with a the head of steam, thinking you know everything. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could still get them wrong. Or the other way, you might not think you know what's going on, but then you get all the matches right. So, I mean, who knows? But that those are my predictions. So, I have Alberto Del Rio winning. I have Edge retaining. John Cena winning the Elimination Chamber for Raw. And The Miz retaining. So, who knows if that's going to be the honest case. Um, I think that maybe next week sometime I'll make a WrestleMania setup video to where like dream matches at this year's WrestleMania because there, there really are a lot of outcomes for this WrestleMania. And I know it's basically a dead topic right now, but Sting, I'm going to bring it back. I have to. I think it's still possible Sting could not wrestle, but maybe just show up. The Rock, same thing. He could show up or he could wrestle. Who knows? Justin Bieber, Biebs, my man. <laughs> okay, he's not my man. I, he's, he's a 12-year-old girl. Who knows? Maybe he'll show up, because that's been rumored, too. Uh, Vince McMahon, I think he would have to make an appearance. And I'm still curious about the Hall of Fame class. If you remember, about a month ago, I made my Hall of Fame prediction video, where it's a WCW-themed Hall of Fame. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... I mean, I would like to see all those guys listen to the video. I think that they could be easily inducted into the Hall of Fame, but... You know, we'll see. So thanks for watching my video, and I will see you guys next time.